What's going on, Dragon Strove fans? I am just giving you a preview of the items that are going to be going up for auction this Saturday, February 20th on eBay. Um, here you see a bunch of the Grenadier Models D&D uh, Gold Box sets and a couple here of the ones that predate the, the Gold Box. So they turned them into the Gold Box, but uh, the uh, Wizards and Warriors line. So uh, we have one of the paint kits, a bunch of the smaller, thinner sets. A uh, couple items here that were promos that were being given away. This is a Tomb of Horrors promo. And then this is, I believe, it was a Ravenloft item. Uh, and I think it was for the Shadow Rift, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and basically it was a given away when you bought that item. It was their Silver Anniversary promotion line that they were doing. Uh, we have Ready Rough Sheets, which I referenced in a, another video. Uh, this is a copy of a Dave Arneson item called Infernax. It is stupid rare. And you can see here that someone had that, that when they released it, he originally printed it with Dungeons and Dragons, and that caused some legal grief. And they actually put over it uh, some glue and some paper to um, hide that after the printing had been done. So, uh, very very unusual item, um, very early. Another, back to the Grenadier here, we have that poster of, of the, um, uh, that was given out to hobby shops uh, for the, the gold line. And then this is the matching consumer catalog that would go with it, uh, or, or would be something that the retailer would utilize to order. Now, again, we'll put a whole bunch of information up on all this stuff. Uh, also a grenadier, so this is going to be. This is a whole stack of the uh, what's called the grenadier bulletin. Uh, this, is, this is, I mean, probably ridiculously rare. Uh, this volume one, number one, and I think it goes up to about thirteen or so. Uh, just an information pack on what's coming out. We have a copy of number six of Dragon Magazine that has been folded and has a lot of water uh, damage to it. So uh, not going to be the greatest copy, but um, still pretty rare. Toma Treasures, another early item from D&D. Starguard, second edition, an early science fiction game. Beast and Men. A fantasy role-playing game supplement from the Game Masters. Pretty hard to find. Um, and we got a few interesting items here. We've got a Dungeon Hobby Shop catalog in the mailing cover that would have been sent out. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it has a date on it, unfortunately. But uh, pretty cool. The armorers. Buyers, the Armories, Buyer's Guide to Fancy Miniatures, Volume 1, Number 1. This is, um, uh, Armory was a retailer and distributor in the, in the 80s, and this is 1983. Mail Order Hobby Shop Catalog, pretty crunchy shape here, but um, still interesting. A pair of Gen Con Game Convention books. Uh, this is Volume, this is, um, Gen Con number 16 and Gen Con number 15. So I'll put those in as a pair. And that's 1982-ish. Uh, uh, this is kind of cool. A Complete Strategist mail order catalog, 1981. This is catalog number three. Complete Strat is a, um, if you're not from the Northeast, uh, they had a couple stores in New York City. The main store in New York City is from, uh, has been right near the World Tra uh, Empire State Building and uh, has been in the same location since the 20s. I, <laughs> rumor had it that they had a lease that they had signed in the 80s that was a 20 year lease with an option to renew it 20 years after that. And like the, the, they had just a great rent. So they've been able to maintain that location all this time. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna bring up a couple more items here just to show, give me a second. 
This is a TSR Hobbies uh, catalog information sheet. Uh, I'm going to go through this. There's, there's other stuff in there. This is just promo materials that were sent out to distributors uh, or retailers. Uh, very early, early stuff. And it's just all one-page papers, little catalog sheets. Um, I've never seen this stuff really before. Uh, this is, I've had this now for a long, long time. Um, and I think it's just time to pass it along to someone else. Uh, but it's cool nonetheless. And then a White Dwarf number one. It's the second reprint. And unfortunately it's got quite a bit of uh, water damage down in this corner here. So I'm just going to put it up for auction. A very unusual item. This is uh, Rura, a uh, fancy role playing in prehistoric times by Blackhawk Games. I know zero, almost nothing about it. Very small press. Probably the m hardest to find item in this lot is going to be this strategic preview number five. Strategic review, uh, if you're a collector, uh, was the precursor to Dragon Magazine. The strategic preview had a very small in-house for TSR print run. This is basically just a, a mimeographed four-page thing about what's coming up, and it was sent out to TSR staffers. It did not go outside of that. Um, I think there were six or seven of them, maybe. I'm not even sure. Um, but uh, this is this is extremely rare stuff um, you don't see this almost ever and this is the only one I've ever had in my hands um, and Tecum old book uh, I don't know that this is particularly rare it's game science so um, it, you know it's after after um, it had left TSR uh, you know just a just a kind of a cool item and then another game science uh, or another um, Tecumol item is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, I basically believe this is a, you know, it's a second printing. Um, miniatures campaign, the world of Tecumol. I don't, I don't think this is a photocopy. I think this is exactly how it was produced. It's got stapled here. Um, but, uh, you know, 100% on that one. So, so those are two pretty cool Tecumol items. Uh, this is a nice uh, item, and it's all practically brand new. It's one of the Dungeons & Dragons folios that were done as a uh, kind of more of a, for the educational market by a company called St. Regis. It was under license. They did about five of these. You know, you can see here, original 29 cent market play, um, price tag. A lot of schools would have sold these, or like drugstores. I personally had one that was a different one of these. Um, and then, um, you know, used it until it fell apart, basically, to keep my characters in. So, uh, they're pretty hard to find these days, and, you know, uh, thus collectible. A uh, Mikimia's Press uh, Cities book, and I believe first, did the first printing, 1979. It's got a little bit of water damage on the bottom, um, but clean overall. One page has uh, had something torn out there, um, you know. It's uh, not something you run across so often. So, this is a pretty unusual item. I've never uh, seen it previously. That's a uh, deep delve, and this is by uh, Cliff Clint Bigglestone from the Fantasy Factory. It says 1980. Uh, David Hardgrave, Hardgrave, uh, um, is dead. Dedicated to him. Um, so a early uh, adventure, I guess. Um, well, kind of cool. Um, anyway, uh, we'll see what that goes for. And then, uh, really, uh, these are a little rough shape, but these are all first prints, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Printing and the, the texture tells me it's just a, it's a first print of the Monster Manual, first edition. Pretty clean, you know, dirtiness from use, but um, uh, name in the uh, front cover. And then Player's Handbook, same thing, name in the front cover. All came from the same collection, the same person. But again, I believe these are all first printings. 
of the, um, uh, the, the books. This one's got some pencil writing in it. I don't think any kind of uh, highlighting or anything like that. And then again, um, you know, this is interesting because we have now two monster manuals. Uh, this is, you know, this one has a orangey coloring, and this one has a red coloring. Um, inside, again, it doesn't um, have any printing in it, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and try to determine, you know, what's the difference of between the two here. Um, they both have this. You know, this one's got a little different texture to it, so. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to determine what's exactly the first print versus a, you know, like a second print, even though neither of them have printing in it. So, but that's it. Uh, that's, you know, the lot of this collection that I'm going to put up, you know, some pretty rare stuff here, some pretty interesting stuff. And then, you know, just good items like the, the, the Grenadier miniatures and the, and, the, you know, some of the, uh, promotional materials, uh, you know, and uh, just, you know, oddball stuff. Things have been just kind of piling up, waiting to do one of these collections. So anyway, going to start on February 20th, and hopefully uh, you will uh, find something you need to have. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.